Hey everyone, welcome to Yagnama Reviews. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you another movie figure review. And as you guys can see, I'm tackling a movie figure from the upcoming Flash movie, and it is Michael Keaton's Batman. I'm so glad that he made a figure of this. It's a little retooled, it's not exactly what his suit back in 1989, but it looks like Michael Keaton, and I wanted to get my hands on this particular Batman, and I've done so. If he comes out with the Joker, just because, I'm going to go nuts. Maybe not. I got my Heath Ledger and my Christian Bale Batman, but this one was a must-get. Yes, I know everybody's chirping me. Oh, did you get the Batmobile? Did you get the Batwing? Batmobile looks good, but for about close to $80 to $90 Canadian, and it's not exactly, it's not a two-seater like it was in the original film. It's a one-seater just for this figure can fit in. And, of course, the top part of the uh, car that opens up that you let Batman in, he's a different color. It's a gray. The Batwing, $250 American. So Canadians can be like 300 something just to have a Batwing that I can either put him in or hang up the wall or display. I'm not that insane yet. But trust me, I pay that same amount of price, but... For particular figures that you're going to see down the road or so. Anyways. Or you might have already seen anyways. But anyways, I'm here to show you guys the DC Multiverse. McFarlane's version of Batman from The Flash. Let's get going. I love it. I had this guy on pre-order and I managed to get him quicker than I thought. And he's amazing. There's a top part. There's him show you guys. Batman, Multiverse, The Flash. Okay, there's the... Just in case you guys want all those codes and stuff, go ahead. There's this side, this side, and of course, you just have a, a drawing of him at the back. Pretty cool, you know? So, like always, give the king a second, and I will have this amazing Michael Keaton Batman figure out of its packaging. All right, guys, I'm back. So, let me show you, like always what you get so you do get two closed fists i'm just going to show you one but for the most part i'll show you the weapons first you get this little grappling gun which i'm not going to use you also just get this little battering which i'm kind of probably going to put that in one of his hands because i have my christian bail already with the how do you call it Grappling gun, and this is, uh, like I said, one closed fist. You can see. It's not a big deal, as you guys can see. It's just his fist closed, guys. All right? I'm going to put that on his right hand. And, of course, you get the trading card, which is that picture on the back, and the standard McFarlane disc that you definitely need, this Batman. And his cape is material, and I am glad he looks Totally badass, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now. He looks good. Much better than I thought in person. It screams Michael Keaton, and oh my God, what a good job they did. So here he is. Here is Batman, Michael Keaton. Look how cool that looks, guys. Come on. The detail... Holy crap, okay? I just got to watch it. I just got a piece of the box there. But the boots, look at that. It's like a greenish varnish. And then, of course, you have his spikes, okay, on his arms. And the back detail, look. I'm just going to throw this over so you guys can actually see the back. He didn't chintz on it, but you could see. Just your standard. Here's your cape, okay? The way the cowl looks at the back. It's pretty cool. Okay, look at that. I don't know why they can't do a Ben Affleck justice, you know? But yeah, man, look at that. The logo, belt's not gold. It's black, as you guys can see. And of course, it has the logo. It's like a darker orange than what you guys see on camera. Okay, and then of course, there's the Mike Keaton face. So... There you go, guys. So that is Michael Keaton. Let me see if I'm going to put the batarang in his hand. Well, I'll show you the grappling gun. I'll put it in his hand. 
which I don't think it's going to be good to tell you that. I don't know. I won't do it. It looks kind of stupid, you know, because it doesn't look like he's holding it right. I think it's more design. Um, yeah, it, it won't hold it properly, guys. And his hand came off, so yeah, that's not uh, fun. So let's say that now. Let's put the grappling, the uh, the battering. I think that's what's gonna be most likely what I'm gonna end up him holding. See, you guys can see it. You know the Batman. You have to hold it right, stoop, like this. So it's gonna go in his hand. His hands come off easily, so you got to be careful, guys. I'm warning you. So that's how it's going to be holding, if I want. He's going to bend his arm and obviously throw it, right? But I don't know. I just don't like the looseness of the hands. I don't know. It's very loose, you know? It feels like he's going to come off in certain pieces, but I don't know. It looks pretty cool. I'm not, like, totally, holy crap, you know, like, over the top on this character or on this figure. Like, could have been used more improvement, but you know what? For what we got, and we got Michael Keaton, I'm freaking sold. Here we go, guys. Let's put him on his the pedestal. Looking up, we'll put the little weapons right in front. And uh, let's zoom up on the Batman one final time before we get out of here. So you guys can have a look at the Michael Keaton Flash. Batman figure. I hope you guys liked it. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other figure reviews coming your way right here on Yagnema Reviews, guys. So it's going to be lots to be seen if you haven't seen it already. But for the most part, I highly recommend you pick up this figure because if you're a Michael Keaton Batman fan, you definitely want this. So until next time, Definitely be the hell good. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that other fun stuff. And keep away from my toys. Keep away off my throne. And I'll see you guys where? Right here on Yagnama Reviews. Take it easy.